Hey Big Blue Band, I hope you're doing well. Being distributed in all classes today is an audition materials packet for next year's band placement auditions. These auditions will be video recorded by you and submitted through a Google form. This video was created to give you some important information regarding how your video submission should look and sound to allow you to have the best audition possible. First, let's talk about the different ways to record yourself. Obviously, everyone doesn't have fancy video recording equipment or a sound studio in their home to make professional quality of videos and audio recordings. We understand that. That being said, the cameras and the microphones in your smartphones and your laptops are more than adequate for what we're asking for this audition. Uh, but we'd like to share with you some tips and tricks that will make your video submission at a higher level and help you sound your best. The first two tips go hand in hand with each other, and that is ways to stabilize your camera and choosing an acceptable distance away from you uh, so that you sound your best. While it's easy to just plop your phone on your stand and hit record, the camera being so close to you will probably not produce the type of video that will make you sound the best. Consider instead propping the camera up a little ways away from you and stabilizing it with some books uh, or other sturdy items around your home. If you happen to have an extra music stand or just even a chair, just putting a little distance away from you will make you sound all that much better. Try to avoid having a family member hold the recorder for you. While they might have stable hands, they might end up dropping the recorder during your performance, or they might cover up the microphone in some way that makes you sound distorted. The next tip seems obvious, but make sure you're in the frame of the video. Nothing's more awkward than watching a video of someone talking and the person's not in the frame. The last tips I'd like to share with you also seem obvious, but we would be remiss if we did not mention them. Choose a room or a space in your home that you are comfortable playing in. Try choosing a space that is free from clutter. And lastly, communicate with your family ahead of time and arrange a time to perform where your recording won't be interrupted. Explain to them what the video is for and how a quiet audience will provide you a better video. For loud or distracting pets, consider putting them in another room or outside if possible. Ultimately, we are judging your playing, not the sounds of your house. We understand these are strange times and we will be very considerate of these circumstances. Just do your best and everything will be fine. If you're a person who doesn't have access to a video recorder of any kind, whether it's a smartphone, a Chromebook, or a laptop, you need to reach out to your band director as soon as possible so that we can begin working on a solution for you. While we will work on the solution to record you, you should continue to diligently practice the audition material. Uh, if you're a high school student that forgot to bring your instrument home before spring break and missed the first instrument pickup opportunity a couple of weeks ago, your next opportunity will be this Thursday, April 9th. If that's you, you need to re reach out to Mr. Reeves directly so that he can give you information about timings and procedures for that pickup. If you're a middle school student that forgot to bring your instrument home, please reach out to Mr. Major or Mrs. Borders for their times that they're available for instrument pickup. Now, for the audition video itself. You will be allowed to record yourself as many times as you'd like, pick your best recording, and upload it to the Google form. However, please note that you will not be allowed to stitch together different audition elements from several videos to make one video. For example, you cannot take your best scales portion from one video, attach it to the best etude portion of another video, and then tack on the best honors portion from another video to make one single video. Your audition video should be what we'll call a single take video, meaning that you should only hit record once at the beginning, let the camera record your entire audition in one sitting, and then hit stop. No cutting or pasting of any kind. If your audition video submission is cut and pasted in any way, is suspected of being cut and pasted, edited, or enhanced in any way, we will remove the submission and ask you to resubmit it. It is important to all the band directors that we have a fair and meaningful audition that accurately assesses your skills and level of preparation for this audition. 
Okay, so how should the audition video actually look and sound like? Here's an example. So, once you're ready to record, turn the recorder on, introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Mr. Boris, in case you didn't know. Then, say what you're going to play for each section. So, first you start with scales. So, these are my scales, starting with my chromatic scale. You play it as high as you can, and then come back down. Then you would move on to your major scales. Now normally we would time you for 60 seconds in your audition and then stop you after that time. However, don't worry about timing yourself for the audition. Just play as many of your major scales as you can. We'll see from the time code from your video when 60 seconds has passed. So they should sound like this. Now, if you can play multiple octaves, great. If not, play what you can, as much as you can in 60 seconds, that makes you sound the best. The next portion would be the etude portion. I'm not gonna play that for you, but make sure you introduce it for you. You can hear that MIDI track here. Now you'll also notice that that MIDI track does not include the bottom portion, the honors portion. That's on purpose. That's uh, what you're going to do and practice and learn on your own. Uh, you'll notice too that there's only one tempo for that practice track. Uh, that's not necessarily the tempo that you have to go or want to go or can go, but it's to help you understand and hear the rhythms because obviously we're at a distance there. Now, once you've uh, finished up your piece, you can say, thank you, thank you for listening to me, that's always polite, and then turn the video recording off. Once you have recorded and selected the video recording you want to submit, go to tiny.cc forward slash BBB audition and complete the submission form. If you have any issues completing the form, please send me an email and I'll see how I can help you. If for some reason you cannot find the audition materials from your Google Classroom, they will be available at tiny.cc forward slash BBB audition materials. If you follow the link, you'll also be able to download and listen and practice along with that piano MIDI track that you heard in the example audition. Um, all of the links in this video you can find online at GoBigBlueBand.com. As always, keep a close eye on the website, social media posts, or various remind feeds for information and updates as they're made available. Um, if you have any questions about this virtual audition process, please reach out to the high school band staff. We'll be happy to help answer any questions or concerns you might have about this new process. Um, again, we hope you're doing well. We hope you and your families are staying healthy and staying safe through these very strange, strange times. Uh, we look forward to seeing each and every one of you again, hopefully sooner rather than later. Uh, take care, everybody. Hope you're doing well. Go Big Blue.